Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Right now we are with the Naib Nazim Mein Aala of Ishtama for set up and wind up Ibrar Mohar Sahib. Let's talk with him about uh, different aspect of the set up and wind up. So Ibrar Sahib, welcome to our uh, segment. First of all, you have set up a big city over here, the city which does not had anything over here. The land was bare land and then uh, now you have put the marquees and all those things. So tell us about uh, the whole setup process and how you started this planning and what are the uh, planning you have done for this one. Jazakumullah, Asanal Jazah, Khaksar ka naam Abrar Mohar and Jazakallah for coming and uh, you know having uh, this conversation with, uh, with myself. So as you can see that by the grace of Allah Ta'ala how the volunteer come forward and then we set up as you just said that it's a mini village here at uh, you know Bethel Islam in the peace village vicinity uh, this year as we all know that you know after two years of the pandemic we are holding the ijtama after almost two and a half year I would call like we haven't had a ijtama for the last two years so uh, after you know that long doing the ijtama where you haven't had the ijtama in the last two years you haven't had that kind of rehearsal and practice so you can imagine that how challenging that could be but it's just because of the sheer of Allah's blessing that you know it's not just only you know we had those challenges but this is how Allah Ta'ala helped us to overcome those challenges so just a little about myself uh, my department uh, so myself like Naib Nazmi Allah as you just mentioned set up and wind up so I have 12 departments uh, to take care of which that. is a big department which is yeah which is which is a big responsibility it's kind of big you know if you look at the whole structure of the set up wind up so from setting up uh, then we have a facility and resources, uh, facility resources department responsibilities to make sure they, res they, they secure the resources uh, from rental to purchase. Uh, they would have to look at each and every single manual thing from tent to table, chair, little kind of decoration stuff, the carpets and the air conditioning, the rental, the equipment, the flooring, you just name it. There's a lot of things and we had now like over 12 uh, vendors who were involved to provide us uh, their services and uh, and the products uh, so uh, from from facility resources i have uh, plumbing i have electrical i have audio i have video i have uh, translation uh, i have uh, exhibition i have uh, banners so there's a long you, you long, name it and everything yeah, is a long, you. long list of yeah. all those uh, uh, department and nazmin alhamdulillah everyone is working pretty hard uh, so yes this year as you mentioned earlier that you know what could what were those challenges we were facing in order to set up you know this mini village a uh, lot of challenges in the beginning the first challenge was we had was the the availability of all uh, equipments and, and the rental uh, items right so the allocating the resources in, uh, it was pretty challenging because after two years the pandemic is over restrictions are, uh, have been eased you now everybody's kind of rushing out and doing the a lot of event people are doing at backyard parties the wedding parties there's a lot of charitable events happening you know around the city so that was most of our challenge finding the equipment finding the rental uh, items that was pretty challenging so um, uh, Nansab, one more question related to this one after post pandemic which is not done yet but we can yeah. call it the post pandemic the inflation is a what one big yeah. factor which can impact the cost of the overall cost of the ishtama yeah. especially when we are doing the renting sometimes we are doing the purchasing yeah. so how it affects our uh, setup uh, uh, process yeah the big time uh, definitely you know you, you're you're getting into the uh, the dollar cost space now absolutely you know the ishtama is costing way more than what we used to as you can also see the uh, the quality of the ishtama uh, the mini village we set it up, we never had at this scale in, in our history in here in Canada for Madhulkan Sarula, Canada. But you can see, alhamdulillah, how big the, uh, you know, the event is happening, how big the setup is. Absolutely, uh, when it comes to, you know, the bigger setup, the cost is new off. You touch on the inflation, yes, absolutely, the inflation is skyrocketing. Rocker, like you can look at the gas prices, where the gas prices are. Absolutely, I mean that is that was one of the challenges. Uh, but this is where our national amla was there to look at, you know, the, the budgeting where we can allocate those funds. Alhamdulillah, by the grace of Allah Taala, we were able to secure those funds in order to make this uh, istima very successful. So another, another aspect of this setup is that uh, we need a lot of volunteers yeah. because this is not an easy task, and this is a heavy job. This is a physical task which you need to do. Yeah. How you can manage the human resources for the whole setup 
and after the ishtama there will be a wind up which Absolutely. is another big task yeah. so how you manage the human resources for that part yeah so uh, uh, as for planning goes we start a planning at least two months prior to our ishtama what do we need uh, you know uh, the first of all like you know looking at where we're going to have uh, the ishtama the venue so this year the venue initially was bradford right after jalsa salana our goal was planned was we are going to conduct our ishtama at that site uh, but for a good reason, I would call that we would have to made a shift the, the, the venue from Bradford to, to our Bathoslam vicinity, which is massive land here we have. Uh, as we all know that, you know, the Jamaat had put forward the, uh, the application with the city for the zoning for the cemetery. Alhamdulillah, it sounds like, you know, it's a very promising now city asked, okay, this is the last step. You guys would have to do it before our uh, September council meeting. We want to get that report you know, from, from MP Muslim Jamaat. So the National Amla for Jamaat made a decision that we unfortunately cannot hold the Jamaat there. So then all Sadran sit together. So actually our planning was first weekend going to be in Sarullah, the following weekend going to be Fudam Lambia, the third weekend going to be Alajna Mahalla. So that was kind of a plan. So we were first of now in the row. We would be doing all setup. The same setup will be used by Fudam al and then, then followed by Lajna Malla. But with that, the, the change in the plan, then we had a big shift here. That was a big challenge. Everybody was disappointed. Uh, not disappointed. Uh, this one is not the right word. But I, I, everybody was kind of, you know, very distressed. Like, okay, what's going to happen? Because we already started up the, uh, the setup there. Our uh, flooring was done. Our market was about to, the, uh, you know, erect there. Our equipment was there. The volunteers working there. And all of a sudden, we have to wrap up, wind it up shift it over here uh, big challenge here uh, at the same time keep the uh, volunteers you know the the motivation high that was pretty big challenge because everybody was kind of you know okay what's gonna happen is a disappointment like you know what we're we gonna do now we had a ma here so yeah that was one of the factor uh, then alhamdulillah uh, our sadran mentioned that you know actually told to us like that okay we want to get this is done it has to be the same uh, you know level of the ishtama that we were planning at Bradford as you can see alhamdulillah we, we follow the you know instruction of uh, the inspector uh, so the majlis uh, and Allah Ta'ala had uh, blessed uh, many for volunteers really offer their uh, help uh, many for they were up front and alhamdulillah by the share of Allah's blessing and, and their help uh, volunteers help like you know we have been very successful I just want to mention here uh, as I mentioned that Qudam al the is still going to happen you know following weekend but after our Insaru al uh, they have been very helpful they have been very resourceful uh, they're helping us at the same time so it's kind of a synergy like you know we are using our resources and, and volunteer hours and even the money wise also we were looking at where we can leverage each of the resources so that's great also example one, one last question regarding uh, the setup and all those things we are seeing a lot of rental equipment yeah. and a lot of uh, things which you have purchased we have um, audio audio environment and all those things how we are doing the security of uh, these equipment yeah. how we are maintaining it do we have insurance and security how that aspect is covered yeah so absolutely i mean you know uh, i would say there's over two million dollar worth of you know the rental equipment on site right now and it's not just just now i mean we have this all equipment and rental item for the last two weeks on our site and uh, yeah so what we have done is we have fenced the whole istamaga wherever we have different you know tents uh, that was one thing we want to make sure that it's secure at the same time we also have uh, you know 24 by 7 uh, volunteers they are doing security duties to make sure that you know the, all of the items we have at the Istamaga is secure and safe. Jazakumullah Asmul Jiran, I'm Nadim Alasab. On the behalf of the, our viewers and the participant of the Istama, we really thankful to you for setting up such a big uh, marquee for the Istama and we hope the members who are going to join they will enjoy the whole setup and on behalf of them thank you very much. Jazakumullah Asmul Jiran. Jazakumullah for having us. Thank you.